How about my review of Chef, directed by John Favreau, a film that follows a chef who begins food trucking after losing his job at a fine dining restaurant for creative differences. Alright, so John Favreau is primarily known for directing good to great movies such as Elf, Zathura, and Iron Man. However, he's also known for directing movies that haven't gotten the best reception, and those movies would be Cowboys and Aliens and Iron Man 2. Now, if you want to know my opinion on Iron Man 2, I personally think it's a film that was bad. Not because of Jon Favreau, but because of maybe there were too many producers, too many suits, telling him what he can do and what he can't do. To me, Iron Man 2 seemed as if instead of being a product of the filmmaker, it was a product of the studio. And when movies turn out that way, they never turn out good. And this is exactly what the film chef tackles. Albeit it's not about making films, it's about making food, but regardless, both of these things take a great amount of passion, or anything for that matter. If you have a passion for something and you have a great love for it, and then you know you have to answer to somebody, someone who comes along, tells you how to do your job, and basically bosses you around, not knowing what the hell they're talking about, just telling you, okay, you should do this, you should do this, you should do that, because they come from a different mindset than you. They're not coming from a creative process. They're not coming from a point of passion. They're just coming from, okay, we need to make money and that's what matters and that's all that matters. Respectable, yet yeah, at the same time though, that's just not the way to do things. When dealing with something that doesn't even require creativity to uphold, yet falls back on old tricks in order to just make simple cash, I believe it's only going to work for so long because I believe people are going to start to see through this and when one is an artist, one can't be afraid to try new things, to experience new things. And I love how the film has something to say about critics and criticism. Essentially, there are some critics who do nothing but come up with snarky comments to basically describe a film, which I believe is the worst way to discuss a film. Because, I mean, look, nobody goes out of their way to make a bad film. Nobody does. I mean, I don't believe anybody just enters a project saying, I'm going to make this movie a terrible, terrible mess. No, nobody does that. I mean, look, making movies, I've never made a movie, but from what I know of the process, it's not the easiest thing to do. It's something that does take, again, a lot of creativity, a lot of passion, and sometimes things don't work out the way maybe a filmmaker wants things to work out. Or again, it can be the studio's fault. I mean, there are many factors that can make a film either good or bad. And with all this said, I really do believe that Jon Favreau, what he was doing with Shelf, was sort of making an explanation and an apology for Iron Man 2. And if this is indeed the case, then Shelf is an excellent apology. And not only that, but Shelf deals a lot with kind of going back to your roots, kind of going back to where you came from and rediscovering your passion. And this is Jon Favreau doing just that with this film. Unlike Jon Favreau's past films like Iron Man and Cowboys and Aliens, this is not an action film. This is a comedy. This is a comedy that is well directed. It's got great writing. It's got great performances. And it's actually pretty funny as well. Now, I'm not entirely sure how this will fare at the Academy Awards, but I really do have a very strong feeling that this will score a couple of nominations from the Golden Globes, those being Best Comedy and Best Male Performance in a Comedy, John Favreau, who is really, really good in this film. From what I've seen of John Favreau in the past, I've always liked him, but in this, this really is him giving himself a chance to shine. And another thing I need to say is that there's a kid performance in the movie played by MJ Anthony, who plays John Favreau's son in the movie, and I gotta say that for a kid, he really wasn't bad. I mean, typically with kid roles, they can be kind of annoying, but he never got annoying. In fact, he was actually pretty good at honing his own weight. Overall, Chef is a fantastic film. However, the only problem is, if you go see this, you might want to watch it on a full stomach because even I, who watched it on a full stomach, got incredibly hungry because this film is like food porn. I highly recommend Chef, so I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. As always, I'm Colin Kirkland. And thank you so much for watching.